Chevalier comes out April 21st. It stars Calvin Harrison as Joseph Ballone, Chevalier de St. George. Say that three times fast. This is based off of a real-life composer and violin player from France two or three hundred years ago. You probably recognize Calvin Harrison Jr. from last year's hit movie, Cyrano. Samara Weaving from Scream 6 stars as Marie Josephine. Lucy Boynton stars as Marie Antoinette, and Minnie Driver stars as La Guimard. I'm probably mispronouncing that name horribly. Chevalier comes in on both my list and my guests list. Sean Jackson from Lost in the Real joins me to talk about Chevalier, and I'll give him the first word on Chevalier. My number 10 film is Chevalier, uh, which I feel like has been kind of pushed around on the release schedule for quite a while now. Um, but it, saw, it stars um, uh, Kelvin Harrison Jr., uh, who I think is incredible. He's in, uh, he was in Waves, and he's just one of those actors who has been around in the last couple of years who's, like, slowly gaining steam, and I think he's just incredible. Uh, so excited to see him in this. Uh, I think it's a really – it's based on a true story about this uh, kind of – uh, illegitimate son of this slave and a plantation owner. And he kind of makes his own in high society way back in the day and becomes this incredible uh, musician. So it's, it looks like a really interesting true story that I'm excited to see. Yeah, I, I agree. And this is actually also on my list too. It, uh, it, I, I, I also saw it, there's so many movies the last two years that have moved around where like a, a, a trailer will come out and you go, oh, that that looks good when you're watching something else. And then you forget about it. And then like, yeah, wasn't that movie going to come out? And then it never does. And yeah, it's, it, it's good that we're finally getting this movie because um, there's so many other uh, there's so many of those films that you see the trailer and you're like, oh, that looks great. And then three years later, you're like, whatever happened to. Right. Yeah. It feels like that's happening to a lot of movies nowadays. Yeah. <laughs> My number seven is Chevalier. Um, I, you know, I was a little bit mixed when I first saw the trailers for this one. I love Kelvin Harrison Jr. Um, mm -hmm. He was in Cyrano. Yeah, Cyrano. The, yeah, he was in Cyrano as the uh, the good looking guy who Cyrano is like, oh, she can't be with me. Look at him; he's so handsome. He was the handsome guy um, yeah. in Cyrano did a great job in that film still being likable, but also being the more obvious choice as the romantic interest for, uh, Roxanne. Uh, so seeing him in this trailer, um, I wasn't quite sure at first, like, you know, it kind of has all the period piece stuff and there's the, the French revolution is kind of a cool setting, but that makes me think of Les Mis and this doesn't Fair. look like a musical. And there's yeah. also the, the whole thing of like that, that period of, also of where it's a musician well it's like well is this just another is just this just another like a solieri versus mozart thing mm. and but then as as the trailer goes along and you see a little bit more of the the character elements to it the outsiderness of it that's universal i think i think everyone can relate to an outsider story and yes. a, a well told story as a whole and yes some of the set extensions the cgi set extensions look a little cheesy it's probably hopefully some... they'll update those before it comes out <laughs> yeah, yeah hopefully i think he fits well into this role at least what we see in the trailers so far and he's a likable actor that i'm rooting for to do well in this film so um it is number seven on my list it it could have been higher if not for the cgi matte paintings um <laughs> but uh it is still on my list 